Welcome back casters to the channel. I'm Mark and today I'm going to help you all become better gamers. Now today guys, we're going to be talking about the top three deck lists from the most recent Metaversity tournament, the MZ Open. If you're an MZO, you could have had the opportunity to play in this event. It's only for MZOs. It was free and top eight got prizing. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about uh, how things went. We're going to go and look at some deck lists and uh, let's go baby. So uh, shout out to everybody who played. Uh, shout out to Damian Gonzalez, took first place. Johnny Dunn, second. Wine Dueler, third. Uh, and shout out specifically to ATZ. Man, y'all are y'all are great. Um, I, I know most of the ATZ guys, and they're all really cool. They're always constantly just going to all the different, like, San Antonio events that I've been hosting. And uh, I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate it. And it's nice to see that you guys are, uh, you guys are like, winning-winning, you know? That's, that's some good stuff. So... Uh, first off, guys, we got Damien's deck. He's playing a water spellbook. He's got, for the deck list, 10 water aura, 2 lake, 2 leveland mailman, 2 leveland frogman, 2 keyhole crab, uh, 4 wallable lake crustacean, 3 schmessy, 1 flying manta ray, 1 mania, 1 new year's new beginnings, 2 absorb aura, 2 mermaid scale, 1 flood the earth, 2 megalodon tooth, 1 dampen, 2 tidal pool, and 4 lightning into bottle. Now, I'm sure he had a side deck, but it wasn't on MPN, so... You know, we just have to assume it's probably more ba it's probably bandage bands uh probably more absorboras maybe i don't know there, there's some different things they could play um but overall i like this deck a lot um a lot of the water decks that i've been seeing have been straying away from playing smoky spirits and fourth of july and all those like stally cards and instead they've been trying to play more of like, I need to get out a big BC, I need to get out a defender so I can keep up a uh, frogman for more than one turn. And um, I think that's nice. I think that's different. I do like that a lot more. I think it's uh, I think it's definitely different. Um, yeah, this deck is really good. The only thing is, obviously, he's missing Oklahoma Octopus. You know, I'm not sure if he's missing it, missing it, but, you know, it's not in the deck list. But Flying Manta Ray is really, really strong. Chessie's really, really strong. Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, the second place. Now, second place was Moldy Potion. A hey, shout out, man. I appreciate you. Uh, always watching the videos, man. Y'all got some. Y'all got some crazy stuff over there at the uh, at the Meta Bros. But um, I ended up seeing the final round, and it was Moldy Potion against Damien. And I'm like, no, that that's not that's 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 a tough matchup because um, Flame getting past Water. That's just that's just tough, you know. Uh, so for this deck, guys, for the flame deck, we got six flame aura, two prism, two spirit aura, two gassy, one piazza bird, two griddle greaser, P six burning effigies, two bookmarks, one fourth of July promo, three explosion, two morpheus, one new years in the beginnings, three absorb aura, one unholy fire, two burning spirit imprint, two unending fire crystal, and two kindling spark root. For the side deck, guys, we got one explosion, one father sand barbecue revolutionary. Three Headless Coal Miner, two Unholy Fire, one Fireball, one Morpheus, three Lightning in a Bottle, two First Anniversary Celebration, and one Second Anniversary Celebration. So, I think overall this deck is also pretty good. There's a lot of crystals in here. There's a lot of stall stuff. I think, um, I just really like this deck a lot. I think it's, I think it's really solid. Uh, for the side deck, you know, bringing in Coal Miners and Father Sands I think is really good. I would maybe put Father Sam in the main deck. Just because he's five aura, he does like a hundred, well, like hundred and twenty-five damage or something silly. Yeah, hundred twenty-five, and burn. I feel like that would be a main deck thing, but I guess it depends. Uh, this deck's not playing neutrality ores, which I think is probably a good thing. I guess with uh, was that six eight ten, you have sixteen sources of aura, so you probably don't need neutrality. Like you will have aura in this deck, and uh, this is something I've got to try out. This is something I've got to try out. Uh, because I think this is probably the... This is a really good list of something that I've never been able to do good with. I just... I can't play... I can't play Burning Effigies because it always feels bad. And uh, for third place, guys... Let's go ahead and look at this deck. This is a Chibi Witches deck. And um, I think... I really like this deck a lot, too. This feels like the closest thing to a Yu-Gi-Oh deck that I've seen in a long time. It has a lot of one ofs but it's, it's really strong. So, guys, we got six Dark Aura... Two Prism Aura, two Spirit Aura, one Witch's Cabin, two uh, one Salem Witches, three Chibi Salem Witches, one Sarah Good, one Trick or Treat Nighttime Terra, 
one Mothman, a Basket Ogres, a Century Box Devil promo, and from the core set, Bell Witch, a Fence Rail Dog, <laughs> an Adam Ackler, Power Bread, two Bookmark, a New Beginnings, a Second Anniversary, Born from the Earth, a Crossroads, three Possession, one Hateful Demise, one Black Mass, one First Anniversary Celebration on the sixth day of Metamus, one copy, uh, two Lightning in a Bottle, two Injured Costume and Mask, one Reaper's Scythe, and two Reaper's Crown. For the side deck, guys, we've got another Witch's Cabin, two Destroy Terra, one Devoid Potion, three Bubbling Brew, one Zombie Apocalypse, two Curse Contract, one Potion Seller, three Drowned Pianist, and a Locked Contract. Now, this deck I think is really good. Uh, this is not something that I have spent enough time testing around with to say that I'd be good with it, but I think this deck is solid. I mean, anything with Chibi Witches in Sarah Good is going to be good. Salem Witches is crazy. Um, I played against a dark deck as well during the day, and uh, they ended up pitching like six cards for me during during a match, and like that really sucks. Like any control deck that keeps cards in their hands, um, Salem Witch is really good against. Um, especially the fact that they have Injured's costume and mask that that card's really good for recursion. I mean, this deck just has a lot of recursion in it, and that's like really scary. Um, I think this deck is really good. Oh, we didn't even talk about it. On the sixth day of Metamis, I don't know if you guys have seen this card before. Uh, you must sing six blood rubies of bleeding to generate three dark aura, and then send the page to the afterlife. This card is essentially on turn one, you can get three aura. That's pretty good. I mean, what does that get you, right? That gets you for d for three dark aura. That could get you. That almost gets you, that gets you a Mothman promo. She. That's crazy. That's bet. That's better than a crystal, because turn one, your opponent's not gonna have any. Aura for Dampen. And it's not a neutral spell. That's really good. Can it get you... I can't get you a Bell Witch. It could get you a Fence Rail Dog if you wanted that. <laughs> you may bark it. Uh, bark to inflict Scared on Target Beastie. I like that. But yeah, guys. Those are my thoughts for the top three deck lists. Uh, again, shout out to Damien. Shout out to Team ATZ for doing really good and representing. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a separate video on my deck the deck that i brought to the mz open and uh why i think i didn't do so good because it's not a secret i didn't do very good this event but you know what happens uh you know everybody has off days sometimes and uh yeah but if y'all are interested in joining any metaversity events make sure y'all uh click it click the link down below in the description and uh yeah i'll go ahead and see y'all later goodbye